feel what's going on inside of you. Are we remembering truth here? Are we having an experience of, wow, yes, I know that. Yeah? How does that feel? It's a familiar place, but sometimes you're journey on. And we only journey off because we haven't learned how to how to be consistent in in being grounded in that. And we're not consistent in being grounded in that because our minds have to be disciplined. Really, truly, we have to discipline our mind. That that's the journey for all of us. Is what am I thinking that has me go off? Because it's always just a thought. It's just a thought that pulls us out. And here's the beautiful thing: it's just a thought that brings us back. The same thing both ways. A thought pulls you out, a thought brings you in. You shift out, you shift in. One just feels better than the other. It's the only difference. How are you? Good. I guess in every opportunity you can choose to feel good or you can choose to feel bad. Higher vibration, lower vibration. But the thing won't change. Yeah. But you, your, how you view it, yes. your, what your choice is, and how you feel about it. Here's even crazy paradoxes. We're choosing to change our perception to the unchanging knowingness. Mm -hmm. we're, we're playing, we're changing what is unchangeable. Either we're recognizing that we're making a choiceless choice. We're just returning to what we are, so that what we are can just be experiencing that. We cannot choose not to be loved, but we can choose to stay over here. It's One side we are what we are, but sometimes we're unconscious of it. Yes. And the other side is not the truth, but we're clean. We're, we're grabbing it. We're becoming, yes. And when we're unconscious, is is just, listen, this is not what's taught in school. This is not what our parents knew. Because they were living inside of this, trying to prepare us to do well in the world, and wanting us to have what they did not have. But we're waking up to all that stuff that we had didn't, didn't make us any happier. Maybe temporarily, in the world of temporary, temporal, temporarily we were happy with certain things happy when the kids were two, then I got unhappy when they started talking back, then I got happy when they went to school, then I was unhappy that they were gone all day and I didn't have to play with, then I was happy when they got home at the end of, you know, after school, then I was unhappy that they were talking all the time, not quiet, now I was happy when they just were on vacation, and then I was like, I can't wait for you to go to school so I can be happy that you're not here. It's this constant, I can't, can't wait to get this, and I get it, and then I can't wait to not have it. So it's constantly chasing the permanence, but the joke is, the permanent inside of us has been there all along. We just have been unconscious mm -hmm. to it. We're not aware that in all of the shifting here, there is the permanence that has been there all along. Going, I love you no matter what. You want to suffer, suffer. You want to you know, be upset, be upset. You want to be happy. Because it knows you can be anything you want to be. We're returning to live life from that grounded space. 